This is our big boy, Anderson. He's got a lot of nice facial features, like really long snout, lovely crest along the spines that are growing in really nice, and those jowls, look at those big jowls, growing in pretty good. There's humps behind his head. Other little fatty deposits that get bigger, especially in the males. Uh, especially as they mature, they'll continue to get bigger, make their heads look giant. Got my blue rock iguana shirt. I got from the DFW Reptarium in Dallas. Definitely recommend checking that out soon. If you're ever in the Texas area, check them out. Anderson is a, I didn't get him as a baby, but he was produced by Ty Parks Anders from Iguana Land Zoo down in Punta Gorda. Just check him out. I believe he's a 2017 animal. Isn't he awesome? But he's one of my most calm males. I mean, he's my biggest one I have right now. He's just going through a huge growth spurt. Look at him. It's not exactly like in the outside time right now uh, with all the noise, dogs, my dogs are barking from inside and then a bunch of cars passing by on our street with everyone coming home from work. But uh, just shows how aware they are of their surroundings. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, I've got my phone propped up on one of my outdoor enclosures. Uh, so he's looking at one of the males Head bobbing at him right now so he's kind of showing his stuff i don't know if you can see that red coloration those are some breeding season colors now up here in arkansas i've noticed the further north we go you know compared to our florida friends down there and the caribbean islands where these are from grand cayman island um, further north you go of course it gets colder but I noticed the breeding season um, is later in the year uh, from some of the past projects a buddy of mine have done. Um, when we were uh, having a breeding uh, partnership, breeder's loan, I had loaned them a couple of my females. I just recently got them back as well. So I'm stoked to have them back. No luck this year with eggs, but um, that is totally fine. I'm just stoked to have my girls back. Um, so, um, but yeah, this is a beautiful Lewis Eye hybrid. Um, that red coloration I was talking about comes from the Cyclura nubula in him. So that is a Cuban rock iguana. So these are not pure Lewis eyes. Um, he's got some Cuban rock iguana in him. And that's why I can legally own him and keep him in the States. So just some cool fun facts about this wonderful lizard. Look how awesome he is. <laughs> but stoked to have him. He's one of my favorites of my collection. And um, yeah, he's a good boy. I love how long his snout is getting. Like he's going to have a really nice head shape and overall looks. Uh, but he's really maturing. Um, he could breed this year, um, but I'll definitely pair him next year. Um, hopefully uh, some of my females get a little bigger because he's he's just growing at such a rapid rate right now. His uh, growth spurt this past year or two has just been crazy. Now they all grow at different rates. That's one of my favorite parts about these lizards. They live up to 50 years, so they got plenty of time to get big. Now, of course, in the wild, the ones that get bigger the fastest, you know, are typically have a better chance of surviving. So, you know, but in captivity, they all have a high chance of surviving, making it to adulthood as long as they're kept properly. Um, so it's cool in captivity, you see them all grow at different rates. Uh, they color up at different rates. Like he's always this really nice pale blue color. Um, 
he's always fired up like this so even in shed he glows now that could be because he's you know reaching that sexual maturity age where you know part of why they're nicely colored like this and when they fire up is to get the girl's attention that all the females in the area they want to breed with the biggest and bluest animals in the territory the most dominant male with the bluest markings and the biggest bulkiest male they could find you know that's who's going to be the dominant male so anyways i think anderson's had enough <laughs> so we're going to put him inside after taking some pictures so say goodbye